Hey guys, this is Evan from DNC. Now in this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can blur the backgrounds of in your Zoom meeting. So let's go into our step-by-step -step sharing. Now, if you're thinking to change your background in your Zoom meeting to become a blur background, right? Um, as compared to Google Meet, Google Meet already has an inbuilt function and um, inbuilt features, right? That allows you to change the background to blur effect very easily. However, on Zoom meeting, you don't have this function, yeah? So we need to do one more step extra in order for you to have um, the blur effect, all right? So over right here, if you can see uh, when we change our video, yeah, this is my actual video background, yeah, um, in my home office right now. So if I just change the background, okay, if I'm looking at the camera settings right here, and if I go to the change virtual background, there's no such option for me to um you know to set the blur, the blur effect right here. Okay, so this is just like some kind of like cute cute you know effect right there, but there's no blur effect here. Yeah? So what are we going to do is we are going to um upload a picture with the blur effect. Yeah. So um you, there's two ways that you can go about it. Um, number one, you can either go to Google to search for a blur background image, then we will upload that as our virtual background. Second, you can convert any images that you want um, to become, and we are going to use some editing tool to edit to become a blur background. Yeah. So what you can do is that um, you can actually take a picture of your existing background, and then we're going to upload that um, to editing too and to you know to have the so-called blur effect all right so let's um, try the first method first which is on Google search the image yeah? so if you can see from here all right you can just go to Google and search for the free um, the, you know the free versions of the blur background yeah and you'll be able to see something like this right so let's see yep um Maybe I will go with this one, yeah. So what I will do is that I will just save this image to my desktop. Okay, blur, blue, yeah. And then maybe I will try another one. Um, yep, something like this. Blur. Yeah. All right, these two, okay. And I'm just going to go back to my Zoom meeting over right here. Beside my Zoom setting, I'm going to just change the virtual background. And over right here, I'm just going to click on the Add Image here. And add an image right here. And I'm going to select my first image. Yep. And then I'm just going to try with my another one. Because now the blue blur. Okay. So if you can see from here, right? Let me just yeah. So if you can see from here, um, the first image that I'm having is slightly having um, you know, the blue color effect. But let me just try with the other one. Yeah, the other one looks more, um, you know, the blur effect that we are looking at. Yeah. So this is how easily that you can change your zoom background to a blur effect. Yeah. For however, for those of you if you really really prefer. To have um you know the blur effect um by using your existing you know the existing office background or some kind of like other um uh, you know the office backgrounds or cafe backgrounds that you want yeah this is what we can do yep second methods we are going to use a tool called bfunky.com right you can get this uh, link from the description below right so what uh we can do right here is that once you're in here. We are just going to upload the picture, right? Um, I'm going to upload from my laptop, yeah. So I already have like let's say a cafe 
image right here or maybe I have a mountain picture or an office picture right here, right? So let's say um, this picture, this office picture, you can either get it from, you know, the office, I mean, your, your, you know, this image background, yeah? This image, um, uh, office image, you can either get it from the Google or you can actually just, uh, you know, take a picture of your existing office, yeah? So I'm just going to use the morning office as an example, yeah? So straight away, you will actually have these, um, you know, the blue um, effects over right here for it to adjust. So it depends on how blur you want it to be. Let's say I still want to see a little bit of office at the back. Yeah, but um, kind of like blur right there. So I will just adjust into like 64%. Yeah, and then I'm just going to save it to my computer. To name it into blur 64%. <laughs> All right, modern office. And I'm just going to save it over right here. All right, let's try with this image right here. Okay, same way, I'm going to just upload an image right here and I'm going to have this right here. Yep, if you can see, okay, so this image right here, um, it will have the blur kind of like effect using my office um, image, right? You can actually use any kind of like image right here. Yeah, you can just change to another image. Um, if you don't like this picture, maybe I will just do a cafe, right? So same things right here. Um, remember, just now I give you the link, yeah, or else you can just go all the way to the settings right there, look for the blur effect, all right, and same thing, we're going to just adjust one more time, the blur, you know, maybe I will go slightly more, 75, let's see, yeah, to so this one, and I'm just going to save the computer blur today. <laughs> All right, and let's check like this one. For the images that if you don't like, right? Let's say um, previously I uploaded this, but I don't want this background anymore. You can just come here and click on the remove buttons, yeah, and delete that, okay? So let's try another one and an image, my blur cafe. Da -da -da -da. All right, looks good, right? So. That's all in this video that I would like to share with you how you can change your Zoom meeting background to a blur kind of uh, background like this, yeah? If you successfully change your background to a blur background, remember to leave a comment below and let me know. And uh, meanwhile, if you like our video, remember to help us like and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Thank you for watching. If you like our video, remember to leave your comment below, help us like and share. If you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly, hit on the bell icon so that you'll be able to receive notifications when we launch our new video. See you in the next video.